Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to summer in Lakeland. It certainly feels very summery today. It's red hot, I'm sweating already. I've just started. So I've taken the afternoon off work um, and I'm gonna go and do a vlog I was supposed to do on Saturday and I didn't do it, I canceled it because I had a few too many beers on the Friday night. <laughs> so a lesson learnt there, don't drink before a, a vlog day. So as you probably guessed from the title of the video, I'm going to go and do um, Helm Crag, or the Lion and the Lamb as it's also called. Uh, I kind of would show you, but we've just gone behind these trees. But it's up that way there. Maybe you can see it, I don't know. Um, but I'm not going to go and just do uh, Helm Crag. I'm going to go and hit Steel Fell as well. A little bit of a horseshoe. Kind of a horseshoe. If you look at it on the map, it's actually like a, an inverted teardrop. But uh, you get the idea. But I'm going to go and do it in reverse. So I'm going to go and hit Steel Fell first. And then mosey on round to Helm Crag. And hopefully get some nice light at the top there. Um, before coming back down. Because obviously I mean, it's about 2 o'clock at the moment. By the time I get round there, it's probably going to be early evening. The sun's going to be much softer and we should get some nice photographs. Who knows? <laughs> it might just all clag in, you just never know, do you? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to probably slap on a lot of Factor 50 and make my way up Steel Fell. You might be able to see Steel Fell now through the trees there. Possibly not, but look at this, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. I'll spin you around so you can see everything. Proper summer's day. It really feels gorgeous. I mean, I've even got my shorts on and you'll see that. You'll see my skinny white legs in a minute. Before I go on, I just want to say a huge thank you to all the people that have supported me recently through the uh, buy me a beer link in the description. I've been really humbled by that actually, how many people have been so generous and donated. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for that. And like I said, I've said it before in other vlogs, um, every penny of that, you know, besides what the tax man gets, will go straight back into, into creating these videos, you know, through fuel in my tank. In fact, I've just filled up the van and that was with, with that money. So thank you very much. It's, uh, I can't tell you how much it helps. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna, like I said, factor 50 on and get up steel fell. It's a bit of a pull up there. We'll be all right. Let's go. Hey, Gertie. God, it's so warm. I don't even know if you can actually see me because of all the sunlight at the moment. <laughs> Bit of a funny angle. But, wow, this is the hottest day so far this year that I've been out. It really does feel like those summer day walks that you do in the summer, funny enough. Beautiful, walking up that little road there. Absolutely stunning. But from here now, now we're off the road and away from the trees, we can actually see the full route ahead of us. So you can see Steel Fell up ahead there. A couple of people just passed me there, walking up, taking it nice and easy because it is hot. And then you can see right round actually, when you go up to Calf Crag, which is over in that direction somewhere. And then I'll end up coming back along this ridge here up to Gibson Knot and back around to Helm Crag, which is there. 
And yeah, nice when you can see the full route ahead of you. But uh, what I'm gonna do, like I said a minute ago, is get my head down and just get up this bit here, because this is the highest point of the day, I believe. I need to check that one. I think um, steel fell's the highest at 530 or something like that. And then it undulates all the way around and then eventually drops down to um, Helm Crag, which I think is probably the lowest point of the day. Well, I hope it's not the lowest point of the day. I hope it's a highlight. <laughs> It was the worst part of the day, but looking forward to getting up there because obviously the views over to the side are pretty outstanding and the views from Steel Fell are good as well, so I'll show you those when we get up there. hot. Tell you what, that sun is fierce. So hot, I can feel bits of me going crispy. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like a lump of charcoal by the time we get to Helm Crag. <sighs> Whew, not used to it. Nice, I'll get a bit of vitamin D. Look at these guys here. <laughs> like a little welcoming party beyond the fell wall. Let's see if these uh, scarp by the time I get here. Let me see them. <laughs> hey, Hurdies. The problem with these kissing gates is I can't fit. Squeeze. When there's a gate, I could go through the, the big gate. But I like to make a meal of things, you know, and look utterly ridiculous. Gorgeous. So, I mean, you can see that couple ahead of me now. I'm making good progress. A lot of it is opening out now along the ridge that we're going to be going down. You can clearly see the howitzer up on Helm Crag. Big slab of rock sticking up in there sky like a big howitzer gun so yeah sweat fest I'm gonna keep on sweating on the way up and having all the sun cream go on my eyes and by the time I get there yeah I'll be on bloodshot and in agony but still having good fun and enjoying this beautiful day funny one this one because there are lots of false summits on this particular hill so as you're coming up here you think oh it's near the top <laughs> but actually the top is still quite some way off you can see that couple still there but I think once they get to that point um, yeah that's the top and now we can really see the whole walk we're going to do. I mean, it's difficult in this light, obviously, because it's, you know, um, well, all the same colour again. But uh, we're a little bit higher than that ridge now. <clears throat> in fact, might even be a little bit higher than um, Helm Crag. So, but at this point, this is when you get all the views, you start to open up, you can see over towards Langdale now, you can see the Furnace Fells, you know, the Old Man and Weatherlam and all that lot. So yeah, it's good. So this last little bit of a push up um, and just try and enjoy the views. I mean, obviously the views behind are looking pretty special too. And you should be able to see uh, Windermere in the background. In fact, beyond, um, the, the, beyond Helm Crag and the Howitzer, you can actually see uh, Esthwaite there, which is little little lake that sits between Coniston and Windermere and of course you can see Grasmere down there as well okay we are just getting onto the summit of Steelfell now 
tell you what, that last little bit is very, very tough. Um, very steep. But, you know, you've got to take little steps. My nose is running. How is that possible? It's so hot. <laughs> um, yeah, just take little steps up. Take your time. There's no rush. And you get to this quite wide summit. If you look on the map, you can see it's quite a triangular shape. So we're in the southern corner here. And then when we head off on the rest of the walk, we'll be going off into the like that western corner. But I think what I'm going to do when I get up to the top top, which is that person is there, look, or people, I think it's people, uh, is I'm going to go and head off towards um, the, I guess it's the northeast or east northeast corner of the triangle of the summit and go and have a look at the view on the other side because obviously we're seeing this view a lot today um, and then obviously we'd have been seeing down that that kind of way when we're on um, Helm Crag as well it's definitely worth popping over to that side because um, on a, a better day weather wise as in when there's some clouds and some interest because there's nothing at the moment look at it, it's so arid you can see down to Thirlmere and Blencath are beyond that and it's absolutely stunning it's a stunning view but we'll go and have a look at it now anyway and then once we're, we're done we'll start heading over to um, Calf Crag on the rest of the horse tube. <laughs> let's go and have a look And you know the views from here when you get the right light looking back towards Langdale there I mean you've got ridge after ridge after ridge those layers stunning but on the right day not today today is a nice looking and walking day it's not great for photographs yet that might change um, as the Sun goes down we might get some interesting light I mean it's quite a lot of high level cloud out towards the west there that could all light up nice and pink and whatever later on so what I'm going to do now is head across all the way over to um, Calf Crag there which is really the beginning of the next leg of the walk it's it's coming back round in a southerly direction heading towards Helm Crag uh, so it just as you can see here it just sort of undulates um, out towards the town there and then up onto Calf Crag and then it carries on undulating along the rest of the ridge there so yeah we've, we've pretty much broken the back of the walk really I mean that's that's the, the hardest part done <laughs> I don't know whether to mention this or not but I've just been verbally abused <laughs> by a guy uh, up on the top there had the drone up I had the drone up I always check to see if there's people around um, so I had a quick scamp around there was no one obvious a couple of paragliders up there made sure they were in um, anywhere near me either they were actually over towards Fairfield they cleared off which is which is good so I kind of felt like a, I could get the drone up and just get a bit of footage but wow was I wrong <laughs> he came over and you know I tried to uh, I tried to have a conversation with him and reason with it but he was so angry I mean you know because I'd spoiled his piece started swearing uh, got quite aggressive 
I think it's important to get the, the drone footage. I think it shows the, the lay of the land and, and shows the, the environment really well, better than you can on a camera. But if it just means I'm going to get loads of abuse off people, I, mean, I must admit that was the first time I've had that kind of aggression um, against me. But still, it's, it, it kind of makes me think, do I want to do it again? From all the comments that I've had, you really enjoy the drone footage, even on a day like today. It's not, it's not brilliant, is it? Um, so yeah, what to do? <laughs> Dramas, dramas in the fells. That's what it's all about, isn't it? You know, get beaten up and stuff. <laughs> uh, right, so what I'm gonna do, put that behind me. I wanna dwell on that sort of stuff. And I'm gonna go over to Calf Crag and probably that's where I'm gonna have something to eat because I'm quite hungry now. And chill out and hopefully, no asshole is gonna get a drone above me. Right, so as we're heading from Steel Fell, Dead Pike, <laughs> on Steel Fell, towards Calf Crag, you pretty much follow um, an old uh, civil parish boundary line, and it's marked on the map. You can see the path running along next to it, a black line. It's a black dotted line for the path and a solid black line for the uh, civil parish boundary. And you can actually see the posts on the ground here, old rusty posts. You pretty much follow that um, quite a long way, really. <laughs> Energy levels are, you know, redlining a little bit. <laughs> Shadows are getting longer now, as the day is obviously getting uh, later. Um, we've got about three hours left of sunlight. No, three hours before golden hour, so plenty of time to get over towards Helm Crag to enjoy those softer hues. Um, now it's looking a bit, a bit squelchy around here. Not too bad. Okay, here we are on top of Calf Crag looking down into the other valley now isn't that gorgeous wow so helm crag helm crag here and obviously grassmere you can see the grassmere itself and then behind that is Luff Regan and behind that windermere beautiful real shame Finn's not here actually she was meant to come on the Saturday vlog um, and she would have been on it if, if I, you know, managed to get my backside out of bed. But, uh, unfortunately, she's not here today, as you probably noticed. Right. right, all fed and watered, and I feel up for this. Last leg now back to Helm Crag. I was flagging a little bit there, but I feel much better now. So I'm going to have a quick check. No rubbish lying around. I've picked everything up. All my gear, and off we go. So, <clears throat> get down there without falling. So the next port of call is a place called Pike of Cars, and it's basically this lump right in front of us here uh, so we head down to there <clears throat> it is a bit boggy down there if I remember rightly and then beyond that the next notable place that we're going to go to is Gibson Knot and that is just the lump along the ridge right before you get to um, <clears throat> before you get to uh, Helm Crag so yeah let's keep going and chase that sun <laughs> get there before the sun goes down should take long at all, actually, so let's go.
Okay, just getting up onto Gibson Knot now. And the light is looking really nice. Wow. Just shimmy up here. that we are at the top <laughs> and of course path just carries on over to Helm Crag but what a view look at it all around I actually took a photograph from here <coughs> uh, last year doing the this bit in the opposite direction heading up towards uh, Cordell Tan, and I got a shot here and put it on Instagram. Beautiful light that morning, some of the best light I've ever seen. Very, very nice indeed. So, whew, out of breath now. <laughs> I think it's time to get over to Helm Crag because it's right there now, not far at all. Like I say, Gibson Knot is the Last lump on the ridge, really, before you, you drop down to Bracken Hawes and then back up to the helm. So, yeah, let's get up there. I think it might be busy up there. It's always busy up on Helm Crag. This is the reason why I've done it this way, because if I'd gone there, at, say, at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I think it would have been quite busy. I mean, even midweek, I think it would have been busy, so... Um, I still think there's going to be people up there for sunset because it's the perfect place really. It's a small hill, very accessible by you know, any level of fitness, you don't have to have good fitness to get up there. It's walking distance from the village, so there's always people up there. That said, I've been up there quite a few times, it's been dead. <laughs> so we'll see, there's Steel Fell. That's where we were all those hours ago. Incredible. You can see how steep that last section is going up. It's a killer. It really is. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, look at these. <laughs> what a path. And look at this path. It's gorgeous. That was a hard push up then from Bracken Hawes. But here we are. We're on the top. Let's go and have a look at the howitzer. So this is the bit we could see before from Steelfell. Sticking up like a howitzer gun. Pretty impressive. Impressive view down this side as well. Uh, oh, knackered. Beautiful. There you go. So you can actually see the whole route we did today. Well, you know, once we started to get onto the fell side down there, up to the top of Steel Fell, across, and round, all the way down this this uh, ridge here. You can just make out Calf Crag in the distance. Light's looking very soft. Beautiful. There's loads of nooks and crannies you can, you know, tuck yourself away in and have your lunch and what have you. Some pretty big drops. <laughs> That's great. Let's go and have a look at the, the lion and the lamb. 
Let's go and see those guys. To get some photographs but ah, the light is just a bit <laughs> it's, it's kind of hazy and just a bit flat really with the light but it still looks nice doesn't it look at it down towards Grasmere so I think what I'm going to do is going to head down to this little lump here on the way down it's like a grass balcony almost that overlooks Grasmere a little bit more, a bit closer and have a slightly more unhindered um, view of uh, the lake and, and the village so I'm going to go down there and see what is visible there I don't think I'm going to get any shots today whatsoever which is a real shame but there again it's been wall to wall blue sky and sunshine you know these are not photography days. But that said, you know, we might be able to get a maybe a nice silhouette of something, a ridge, maybe pink sky, who knows? So I'm gonna go and sit down on the grass for a bit, have a snickers, and uh, contemplate life. <laughs> I'll tell you what, no one here. Very, very surprising. I'm very surprised by that. I've not seen a soul. I've been up here about half an hour and uh, yeah, no one's come, no one's left. Weird. Oh, it is a good hill this, you know, really, really good. You get a lot of bang for your buck, that's for sure. Height of summer, I think this will be absolutely chock-a-block. And quite rightly so, because it is beautiful. Like I say, short walk up from the village, so I've parked up in Grasmere. It's a short walk up. And you hear, I mean, you can hear about half an hour, 40 minutes maybe if you're, you know, taking it easy. It's good, it's a good um, introduction to Lake District fells and views if you're not used to it. The route we've done today is a little bit more strenuous obviously because we've come down the ridge and steel fell just kills you. It really does. It's brutal. Oh, it's looking nice. Check this. I don't think anything's going to happen here. Um, there's no clouds, it's just a big ball of fire. <laughs> and I think it's going down behind high rays as well now, which is basically making the whole of Grasmere area just plunge into darkness. So there's not a lot to shoot. I don't have any photographs on this particular vlog. Uh, that was quite nice over there though, to the bottom of um, Seat Sandal. The walls and the sheep. I don't know if you can see that. It looks nice, but again, it's one of those things to take a picture of it and you get it back and it's like, mm, that's a bit rubbish. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on down back into Grasmere now. Um, nice little bimble back in. Again, this is a little hill. Doesn't take long at all to get back into the valley. Uh, very nice indeed. So that's what I'm going to do. 
just as I'm as I'm doing that, I'm gonna mention these shoes. They've been absolutely brilliant. Um, these are the Innovate Rock Light three. Hang on a minute, what are they? Three fifteen. Um, three fifteen means that they're three hundred and fifteen grams, which is pretty light for a shoe. They feel like slippers. They really do. They feel absolutely wonderful, and because they've got such a soft sole, they're really grippy on the rocks. Uh, with a lot of confidence on the rocks today, which is great. Um, obviously, because of the soft sole, they'll probably wear out a little bit quicker. But these are the graphene ones, so apparently they last 50% 50 longer, but we'll see. I think what I might do is wear them out completely. You know, and then uh, maybe in 12 months or whenever it is they've worn out, do a bit of a, uh, a review like I did with the Solewas. Once I've really tried and tested them, you know, there's no point in doing a review. And I've just got them. Um, I need to put them through the paces a little bit. But yeah, so far so good. Very comfortable. Like I said, like slippers. That's what they feel like. So, sorry, my nose is running like mad. Um, yeah, let's carry on. I'm going to probably drop out the sun in a minute because it's about to drop below high rays, like I said a second ago. And it'll feel a little bit cooler, but that's okay. Let's go. these lambs <laughs> so cute I have no idea what breed these are they're kind of white on the back and jet black underneath very strange but very cool right back in the valley so there we were up on Helm Crag very very quick descent down there doesn't take long at all um, but yeah what a day what a fantastic day I'll tell you what I've seen about, pff, let's have a think about this. Five people, maybe? Five, look at this. Look at that. What the? That's just too much. <laughs> that was too cute. I really hope you saw it. Um, anyway, what a day. I mean, it's been beautiful weather-wise. Oops, my zip's open. Um, not great for photography, it's a bit of a shame I really want to get some photographs today because that is a great view, a great route for views but sadly uh, the light was a bit rubbish but I've had a great day um, I can highly recommend it, if you want to do this route just do it I'll put the description in the description, <laughs> I'll put the route in the description why do I always get that wrong? It's weird and uh, yeah so you can follow on on the OS Maps app oh, this one's scary looking and uh, yeah get out here and do it beautiful so I've just 
I'm gonna walk into the, into the village now, pick up the van, go home and have a beer. I think I've well earned a beer because it has been a hot, crispy day. So if you liked it, again, as usual, surely you must give us a, a thumbs up for all these lambs. I mean, come on, look at them. Yeah, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and you can watch more videos like this. And if you want to support the channel, head over to my, my website at blackcrag.uk and uh, buy a photograph. And thanks again to all the people who've donated. It's very, very much appreciated. Oh, these are too cute. Look at them. Right, I'm going to go and I'll see you on the next vlog in about a week or so. See you later. It's afternoon, I've taken the work to uh, um, I've taken the, the day to sake. And welcome back to a uh, Hi. I wonder if I could train the herdies to come and get the camera and pass it to me. <laughs>